In this short video, we're going to take a look at um, the menus for the project, uh, which is here, and the menus for the reach, which is the reach center line. So if we just go back to the project, right click here, and we've got some tabs here. If we just actually come out of that and zoom out a little bit, you can see we've got some checkboxes here. So we can click this top one, show survey data. So it just removes the survey data. Um, show river key plans there's no key plans in there and we can uncheck show overlay data which is the mapping so if we turn everything back on right click again so we can select select overlay transparency so you can see that uh, working quite nicely cancel that We've got add overlay data, which is where we add this background mapping, and we've got clear overlay data, so we just clear that. Go back in there. We've got modify frozen DXF layers, so we can modify layers, and we've got project properties, which we've spoke about in the uh, menu bar video. If we go on to reach, We've got view long section, it's very straightforward. We've got edit key plan, and this is for drawing cross sections at a particular interval. Um, when you are prepping your job to go and do your survey, on site survey, you might want to, um, your client might have asked for sections at 100 meter intervals, and this will generate sections at those intervals, so you can take that data out onto site. Uh, we've got zoom to reach. We've got show all cross sections in this reach. We've got hide all cross sections in this reach. Just turn these back on. We've got reverse reach direction. So you can see that just works through and returns the reach round. So handy if you've uh, drawn up uh, a low flow uh, drainage ditch, which sometimes flows in different directions depending on whether a pump's running or something like that very handy to be able to just reverse that reach and updates all the changes for the photos, uh, for the cross sections, everything else. Uh, set naming convention, so we're most, mostly always assigned to standard slash environment agency format and then we've got uh, manually assigned and then we've got reverse chainage which is like 11 chainage. Uh, remove from project, so that will remove the um, center line from this project so if you want to remove that and just in, insert a new center line you can do and then you've got project property uh, reach properties so this is where you would change the name so you've got your reach name here so I could just change that now to river terms and I could change this here to TA also in here it gives us our length and also a counter for the cross section so there's 10 open channels and 17 structures and we've got a file path to our original uh, file, and we've got the date. If you press OK, it will just update those changes in the reach, like so. So, quick overview, overview of the uh, properties, project properties menu, and the reach menu.